Greetings friends, hope you are doing well. Did you know that eBay has a find and replace feature for editing descriptions? Well, it does and it's kind of a pain <laughs> to get it to work right, but it's good to know about. So say you have a bunch of listings, maybe you uploaded them in bulk in a CSV and you, you know, spelled something wrong in every single one, or you want to change your boilerplate wording, or you just want to tweak something on multiple listings. This is what the deal is. So you select them um, on from your active listings and go up to your edit button and say edit selected. This takes you into the normal bulk editor and select them all, go to edit fields, item description, and then you'll see that you can do edit listings in bulk, find and replace. So the trick here is that it has to be absolutely exact. You can't if there's a secret um, HTML in the code that you can't see, eBay can. If there's anything untoward, eBay can see it and it will not do your find and replace, right? So I strongly recommend actually going into the listing and copying the stuff you want to find in the HTML view and then typing whatever you want to replace it with for your best chance at getting it right. And you can also, I mean, if it's like one word, like I had one where I wanted to replace gem with gem, that one worked okay without having to do the whole HTML trick. But Otherwise, I would strongly suggest that because anywhere you have a paragraph break or punctuation or a space or anything that HTML has encoded, it's going to um, mess up eBay's finding algorithm if you don't copy it exactly. So that's your tip. <laughs> uh, you can also go just add add to item description. So. That's what I want to do in this case. I just want to say, please request an invoice for an item to show this house. So we can do that and it will add the to both of these listings here at the end, which is actually not really where I want them to be, but for the sake of example, that's how it works. I would actually in real life, go in and copy all of this in the HTML view and add it in here. <laughs> I should have said this before, but all I mean when I say HTML view is that you're in there doing your item description and your listing. This is the standard view. And then if you click over here, this is the HTML view and it's just encoding the default formatting that you have here. Like I haven't done anything special, no bold, no bullets, nothing, but it still sticks in some HTML to encode that, which is just saying the font family is Arial and the size is 14 and there's some uh, paragraph breaks and stuff like that. So even if you don't use anything fancy, there's still secret so-called secret um, HTML in there and that's why I'm saying you should copy this to use in your find field to find and replace rather than this because you might miss something that's in the HTML like down there or whatever and it's just eBay has an easier time finding it when you include the HTML so that's all I was saying sorry I didn't put that earlier in the video. Okay, back to our unfolding story. But you get it. 
you, I mean, you see how it works. So let's uh, cancel that because it's a little weird. Yes. And that is how you use the bulk editor to find and replace text in descriptions, both to just add something on or to replace a word or to replace the whole thing using the HTML view to get it exactly. Hope that's helpful and thanks and take care. Thank you.